Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tai Dip and Chew Guy, and this is an installment of the Alternatives playlist. Which number? I really don't know. Something deep inside me wants to say too many. But besides that, I do not know how many alternatives reviews there are at this time. Anyway, we will be taking a look at another Amarillo Snuff Company product, Lemon Zest. Started thinking about the Skull after the Skull Citrus review the other night about citrus dip and what used to be available and now isn't. And then I remembered, wait a minute, I have this in the cabinet and it's been there for a little while, so that's what we are doing tonight. So the packaging is pretty simple. It's an all black can, black lid with a sticker on it. All right. It's not bad looking. It's very simple. It's that's what it is. It's all pretty straightforward. It's got a rubbery band. Uh, you got branding. Now it does say full there. That is because Amarillo's products are full strength half strength, and I believe they now have no nicotine products, all right? This product does have nicotine and thus full. And then you have order online at amarillosnuff.com. That is what I did. And their nicotine disclaimer, all right? So I'll read it. This product contains nicotine, which may be addictive. It's addictive. Um, no sales to anyone under the age of 18. For the complete disclaimer, visit amarillosnuff.com. On the back, there is a made one sticker. This would have been the 28th of February. So there is a barcode, and the reason for that is I believe they were, or at one time they were, and I'm, I'm guessing they still are. This is actually sold at a set of certain gas stations in Amarillo, Texas. Outside of that, if you want this, you will have to do what I do and go to their website and order it. Again, it is AmarilloSnuff.com. It is reasonably priced, and since I did the original review, which was one of the first alternative reviews since I did that you can buy one can at a time at, originally you had to buy at least two cans now you can buy one if you wanted uh, mind you that makes it rather expensive when you deal with the shipping you do have to pay shipping on it so I'm gonna cut into this now I did the vanilla not too too long ago and it was good I mean, it, it was good, but there were some issues with it afterwards, which was not shown in the review. Um, basically, whatever they had flavored it with had made the product a little bit odd, spitting and in the mouth. Uh, and I did actually have a hard time getting rid of the flavor after I had it out of my mouth. That said, the flavor was good. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like, oh, why did I do that? It wasn't like that at all. It, it was all right. Um, but it, it lingered. It, it definitely lingered. And spitting, it was odd. Cleaning out the mud jug was a little sketchy afterwards. But besides that, I mean, it was, it was flavored really well. And the cut had been improved. It, it was just, it, it was a little odd. Now, this company is using corn silk as the alternative. The, the base product is corn silk. So, I think I have this open. They have rubbery bands, but I think they're perforated, which is what just saved me there. And we are opening it up. Wow. Okay. Again, it, it smells good. Um... It is not coming off as, you know, all-purpose cleaner. It, it smells like lemon, fresh lemon. 
it's it's strong but it's like a natural fresh cut lemon smell it it smells good and it it looks all right it's been sitting in the can for a little while now this is still within date i forget what they date out to but we're still within a couple months that's what it's looking like in person that's that's pretty darn close it, it it's pretty dark stuff with a tinge of brown and it looks it actually it, it it's pretty darn close looking at it it looks like dip not not dip long enough for me because it doesn't look like stokers but it could pass put up next to grizzly or probably copenhagen too um, so it, it looks like the real thing. It smells really good. I would show you the can lid for a cut, but it's a black can, so it's not really going to show much. If I get in the right light, maybe. Now, this stuff is going to be a little slippery because of the one ingredient that I always forget and Dirty Pat Wash always reminds me of. And then I forget again because that's how I roll. Moving on. Um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be slippery to the touch. And the cut's not going to be great. Okay? But I have not run into an alternative yet where the cut was great. The alternative great cuts? That's not a thing. So, reaching in, I am backing it with a finger. It's stable enough when backed. I don't know if you can see my finger back there. You can get a good pinch of it. I mean, it's not, no, no complaint. I mean, it, there's things that are worse cut-wise, okay? Like, th this probably isn't much worse than Longhorn. Let me put it that way. So I'm going to throw this in. I'm going to hit the pause button, and then I'll be back. Actually, I don't know if I had to back that with a finger. It was a little slippery, but it, it was a pretty tight pinch. Now, this is what I'm talking about, though, with, like, the mud jug being a little funky and afterwards. Do you see that staining on my finger besides the actual product? You're not able to really tell. And my hands are a little banged up from work today, but... You're not able to tell so much on this camera, but that is actually staining my fingers black, like a, a like a black with a sheen on it. So that that's sort of what I was talking about. I'll be back in a moment, and I'm back. <laughs> I'm really tired tonight. Okay, in case you hadn't been able to tell. Um, tell you what. I like this. Uh, I, I, I actually dig this. Um, now, the original, there was nothing wrong with it. It was before they had improved the cut. Nothing wrong with it. It was just sort of nondescript. The vanilla was sort of like vanilla cake batter. It was good, but it was a flavor that, although I liked, was something I would have to be in the mood for, okay? It was very vanilla cake batter. Are you in the mood for vanilla cake batter tonight? For me, that could be a yes or no. This is flavored it's descriptive but it's a mellow lemon that is sort of good anytime like you need to be in the mood for vanilla cake batter but for me mellow lemon that's sort of like an anytime thing so i'm gonna spit to try to show you what I'm talking about. I normally don't focus on this on this channel, but it 
it's sort of like a clearish black. I'm not saying there's anything really wrong with that, but in the mud jug, if it sits for a little while, or the spittoon in general, it, it, it gets a little funky. It, it's a little weird. Now, this one doesn't seem to be as bad as the vanilla. The vanilla was like, I, I was looking at the mud jug like the next morning, and I'm like, what the hell happened here? Um, nicotine's here with this. I don't know if it's because of the citrus, but it's juicing up a, quite a bit for an alternative. Quite a bit for anything, actually. Um, nicotine's here. The cut on this is definitely improved. Now, I don't even know if I needed a third finger for that. It has a little bit of a slippery feel, but it is sort of staying firm in the mouth. I moved it around. There were a couple, but not many floaters at all. So, I don't know, the vanilla was an improved cut too, or after they improved the cut. I don't know if because of how they flavored the vanilla, it's a little bit different from this. This can is, the product looks like dip. Some inconsistencies and whatnot, but it looks like dip. It pinches fairly okay. It does have a slightly slippery feel, but it's within reason. It's holding together in the mouth pretty well. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess it's spreading slightly, but it, not, nothing that, you know, nothing out of control that would turn me off of the product. Flavor-wise, this is another one where the smell is a little bit more forward than the actual flavor, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's definitely lemon. It's definitely a fresh cut lemon flavor, but there's no like puckering going on or anything like that. It's sort of a mellow lemon, all right? Something that's been, well, it, it has been lemon flavored, but like uh, imagine something else that has been lemon flavored, like, uh, like a really strong lemon aspect iced tea, something like that. It, it's that lemon. It's fresh, it's natural, but it's not like overboard and you're not like... So, all, all around, I mean, I'm not looking to switch off the of tobacco. I'm not worried, I'm not overly afraid. I mean, there are risks, yes, but I, nothing that is like, oh my God, I, I, I gotta stop today tomorrow, yesterday, yeah, it, nothing like that. So I'm not looking for an alternative, but I do realize some people are, okay? And I'm not gonna talk them out of that because I'm not a medical doctor or a scientist. So there's not me to say what they think their risk should be. That all said, if you are looking for an alternative with nicotine, okay, you should probably check out Amarillo Snuff Company. AmarilloSnuff.com, okay? Unless you live in Amarillo, Texas, the website is the only place you're going to find this. They're reasonably priced, okay? They're, I, I mean... It depends what how much you're getting because there is shipping costs, but they're about four ninety nine a can, which is about a dollar to two dollars less than let's say an outlaw product. Uh, it is also less than a couple other of the alternatives unless you can find them in stores. I can't believe how much I'm spitting with this, and, and it's not like it's like sour it's not sour it's just it's creating a lot of juice i don't know why um this is the full strength there is a half strength and i believe now that they have a no nicotine so if you're looking for an alternative and it's an added thing where you can step down i i'd give this i i i'd check this out i really would um unless you're buying one can the shipping is within reason Okay, it's nothing crazy. 
Uh, nothing that I even gave second thought to when I ordered this. All right, and I only got two cans at the time. I got the vanilla and I got this. Uh, they have the vanilla, this, the original, which is one of my first alternative reviews. And there is a winter green, but I have not had that yet, so I do not know. But they seem to have a grasp of what the actual snuff market is like and what people like. I mean, they got something that looks like the product. They got something that, for the most part, feels like it, with the exception of the little bit slippery. They've got, you know, it, they seem to know what's going on in the regular tobacco market enough to fashion this sort of as an alternative to it, okay? Nicotine is not out of control. It is definitely there. It does not make me feel sick, jittery, or anything like that. The flavors are good. Thus far, the original was a little bit nondescript, sort of a little bit blah, but the vanilla and this, definitely, uh, they're really good. I will probably end up using this entire can, and that is saying something coming from me about an alternative. End of. Um, so nicotine's there. It looks sort of like the real thing. It's priced right. The packaging is, you know, it's not, it, it's generic, you know, it, it, but it's not anything worse than a Timberwolf can. Let me put it that way. It's simple, They're, you know, it is what it is type deal. All right. It's a small company uh, from their dating sticker. I'm guessing quite a small company, but I have never seen them out of stock. So if you are really looking for an alternative, I check it out. You know, uh, you know, the, the the alternative list here is there's not much good. Uh, I'm going to be honest, flavor wise, it, 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 it's not it's not a pretty scene at all. Uh, the only things that have been good, consistently flavor wise, is this company and the. Uh, back off, which has no nicotine. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for nicotine or a scaled down nicotine, that's out. Amarillo Snuff Company. I could I could ramble on because I'm really really tired, so I'm not going to. I am the soon tie dip and chew guy. I do hope you all are well. We have about 72 hours or a little left left on the short neck raffle okay uh just to let you know i will return on thursday evening two nights from now for a short format chew review all right i do hope you all are well do take care of yourselves and god bless